obviously there's uh, public information brochures here let's click on that um, now some of these um, may be the subject of uh, further videos um, there's a PIB 23 which is the mobile service bands in New Zealand PIB 38 which uh, specifies the requirements um, for certification of licenses um, and somewhere down here PIB 58 specifies the operational policy rules for radio licensing so you can download these and you can also see them on screen I'm just going to have a quick look at PIB 58 when you download it that's what it looks like uh, we're going to jump in and uh, there's the table of contents uh, the first place we're going to go is equipment standards here we go in New Zealand um, radio equipment must comply with a technical standard if in doubt you're not at all sure about the supplier of your radio gear ask for a certificate of conformity anyway um, moving on down we are going to come down to 4.3 here we go section 4 land mobile service analog land mobile is permitted in all bands digital is permitted in all commercial bands there you go band plans are found in PIB 23 with some restricted channels okay you can read this document yourselves when you get an opportunity all New Zealand exclusive simplex licenses Here we go will only be considered for government agencies on a case-by-case -case basis interesting so all simplex licenses in New Zealand are shared allocation rules for digital land mobile let's just bring that down a little bit this section outlines the arrangements for the introduction of digital land mobile and the phase out of 25 kilohertz voice analog land mobile radio now 25 kilohertz is wideband okay there's a, obviously a chart here that you can examine uh, channel spacing is uh, 12 and a half kilohertz and there's only one there at 25 right there it's interesting I'll come down here a little bit land mobile bands with interlaced band plans Analog land mobile licenses with channel bandwidths of 25 kilohertz are no longer granted. Here you go, there it is in black and white. Wide band licenses are no longer granted. All 25 kilohertz analog land mobile radio services below 470 megahertz ceased operation by the end of 2015. No new 25 kilohertz, that's wide band. Analog land mobile radio licenses will be issued in, in will be issued in the bands above 470 megs. So there it is in black and white. All land mobile bands may be licensed for digital service designed to operate in 12 and a half and six and a half kilohertz channels without the need for band migrations or special engineering considerations. Provided the se selected technology standards are compatible with existing analog equipment. Okay, here it is in black and white. We'll come down to 4.7. Coded squelch system, access codes, and unique addressing. New licenses for Simplex Land Mobile Radio must either use a coded squelch, such as continuous tone coded squelch system. 
in accordance with PIB 23, an access code or unique digital addressing. So there it is in black and white. If you're not using CTCSS, you're probably in breach of your license. And there's enough information on this video for um, persons to uh, get into the register of radio frequencies and look for what they need.